Uh, I'm Tim Barber. I'm the communications director for the United States Capitol Police. Uh, obviously, today's a very big day. Uh, and this is why we wanted to alert you to what happened today and the action that our officers took. United States Capitol Police Chief Jay Thomas Manger is going to uh, give you a brief synopsis as to what happened today. And then he's going to answer a few questions, keeping in mind that obviously this just happened this afternoon. And there's some details that we have to hold back as our investigators do their work. Here's Chief Manger. At about 1220 this afternoon, a white male entered the south entrance of the Capitol Visitor Center and uh, approached the screening area. Um, he was directed to put his uh, coat and his backpack um, down for screening. Um, he, stood, he stood there for uh, a, a few seconds, then put his stuff on the, uh, on the conveyor belt. Um, as soon as the, uh, uh, his backpack and his jacket went uh, into the screening area, U.S. Capitol Police officers staffing that uh, screening area saw what appeared to be uh, something in the shape of a firearm. Uh, they also saw uh, two bottles uh, in the backpack. As the, the man was standing there, they, uh, uh, one of the officers noticed a, a, a faint odor of gasoline. And uh, when they pulled the backpack off the conveyor belt, they noticed a much stronger uh, scent of gasoline. Uh, at that point, uh, the uh, subject was uh, detained. Um, he was uh, placed under arrest. Um, we found a flare gun, uh, a lighter, and a, uh, and a, uh, a, a torch lighter um, in his jacket. Um, there was also uh, other articles in his backpack, um, and uh, he is now uh, in custody. And uh, again, very active investigation. Um, we have uh, we located his vehicle um, that was several blocks away. Um, we now have the the vehicle as well. And um, again, uh, ongoing investigation. I'm happy to answer any questions Chief, that you have. It's my understanding that he had a manifest that was anti-government and had maybe some pro-Palestinian or anti-Israel uh, uh, manifestations in that, and that he had driven all night from Michigan. Is that accurate? And what can you elaborate on that? The, um, uh, he had papers with him that he said he, his intent was to, de to deliver them to Congress. Um, we're, st we're still going through uh, all of those papers. It's quite a bit. Um, and uh, uh, we, we are... Uh, trying to determine um, where, in fact, he did come from. And, and again, active investigation, so there's a lot of follow-up. When we get that information, there'll be additional follow-up. Chief, you said there were two, what appears to be two bottles in the back. Do you know what those bottles are? So, um, it, it, we believe that it was some sort of accelerant. It could have been gasoline, some sort of accelerant. Um, the, uh, not, uh, I've heard a couple of different things about what uh, may have been in the bottles. Um, it, it appeared that, that at least one of the bottles was leaking, and that's why the, the backpack so, smelled so strongly. Um, so uh, we're, we're still trying. I, I, I don't know what uh, exactly was in. We, we believe it's either gasoline or some other accelerant. He was, he was, he was very compliant. Um, uh, he, uh, the, watching the video as he approached the Capitol Visitor Center, um, he was walking um, uh, fairly slowly, uh, looking around when he walked into the CVC. Um, he's observed looking around, uh, looking up, looking, uh, uh, you know, to the left, to the right. Um, and it was actually then that one of the officers came up and said, sir, you need to put your stuff on the uh, machine. And um, he hesitated for a moment. The officer told him again. That's when the, he uh, uh, got closer to the screening area and put his stuff on the conveyor belt. Have you told officers what his intent was? Um, he, he made a few statements to the officers, but he's being uh, interviewed now uh, by the investigators. And, and we're uh, so we haven't gotten the results of that interview yet. Chief, the Capitol Visitor Center was closed to anybody coming in. 
but I talked to a number of people who were already inside who had no idea what was going on outside. What was the thinking of allowing the people who were already in there to remain in there as opposed to being evacuated? Well, he was in custody, and, um, and we had his belongings, so uh, we closed the visitor center after he came in and we determined what we had, so no one else could come in. The people that were inside the visitor center were further, uh, further inside the, the uh, visitor center and were not uh, in any danger. Chief, did it happen at this entrance behind us or on the other side? It happened right, uh, the one on the, uh, uh, to your left, okay. and, and to south entrance. It's, it's hard to tell. Um, uh, he, he had some articles in his, um, uh, in his backpack that uh, he may have uh, wanted to set on fire. Um, it did not appear uh, t um, that he had doused his, all of his clothing. There was some of his clothing that smelled like gasoline, but not all of it. So it's really unknown at this point what his intention was. Uh, well, we, we're on a uh, certainly on a heightened alert and have been for um, the the days up um, t till t till the election day today, um, and we we are uh, have an enhanced posture in terms of uh, um, our security uh, currently, and it'll just um, continue through um, November through December through uh, and through January all the way through. And beyond the inauguration, if need be. Was that a firearm? It was a, fl a flare gun. Can you describe the torch a little better? Torch gun, like a no, it's. A, I believe it's like a torch uh, lighter that you would light a pipe with or light a cigar with, something like that. Do you have any sense if this was all related to elections or just something else? Do you have any sense of what? He. Uh, he is, there was no indication. There's no indication right now that it had anything to do with the election. Can you describe? Obviously, there's a lot of concern among members generally about violence around the election at this moment. Is there a briefing plan for them? Have you have, has the Capitol Police communicated with them about this incident? And in general, what is your message to members and officers? So we we have um, uh, put a message out to the, our stakeholders here. Um, We've been briefing uh, different committees and different uh, members of leadership over the past several weeks um, in terms of our preparation for the election for the, uh, and the inauguration, and um, as well as uh, next January 6th. Can you describe the clothing? Were they seasonal, a warm day here, obviously in Washington? Was that something that the officers noticed as well? Uh, he, he, he did appear to have heavier clothing than was warranted um, for a day like today. Um, well, I do know that they have found uh, um, information on social media, um, and I think, and I know that they have. Uh, they're in the process of reviewing that. Um, I don't have the results of that uh, uh, of that review yet. There's there, um, certainly, as we go through the uh, the papers that he had with him and go through his social media, we're 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 I uh, getting uh, getting a, a good focus is in terms of um, what his issues were. All right, folks, we have time for a couple more questions. Well, what was that go. one of his issues? Israel Gaza. Uh, it may have been. It may have been. And, and you just said uh, you're working to determine where he's from. Does it, does it appear at least that he is from outside the D.C. area? It. it I believe he's he's for, it appears that he's from outside the DC area. Yes. All right, thank you all very much. Thank Appreciate thank it. You. And folks, we will be uh, putting out a uh, press release later with some more information. Obviously, our investigators are working right now to piece some more things together. As soon as we have more information that we can provide, we'll push that out uh, on our website and on uh, social media as well. Thank you. Thanks, John.